Okay then. Hello Internet. This is Spararia, and today I'm going to be giving my first Toho Danmakfu PH3 tutorial. Today's topic involves creating rings of bullets and ellipses of bullets. And you should know basic knowledge about trigonometry because that's going to be really helpful. So, um, a few notes. Firstly, I cannot get any background music or sound. So I'm going to be adding in sound later, but none of the sound effects or background music from Toho Danmakfu are going to play. So it's going to be pretty much my voice and that's it. And um, I'm going to be filming this in parts, so there's, there are going to be random chunks of st recording stopping and all kinds of stuff like that happening. Um, just ignore that. And um, I will be explaining my system somewhat. And that does not mean you should copy my system or use it in any way because you should use a system that works best for you. And so without further ado, um, let's begin. Also, before we begin, um, although I already said star, there are three things I have to mention. First is high level data language, which is um, new for PH3. And it allows you to use um, an external language to help with all kinds of post um, transformation effects. Second, I'm using a Mac, which means that I have to use a command line in order to do all my stuff. Do not be afraid of the command line, it's there. And thirdly, I'm going to be using Sublime Text for some of the stuff here. Basically, um, Drake made um, a Dan Makfu um, color highlighter and all this other stuff for Sublime. And if you're not using Not um, Notepad++, Sublime is a really good option. And although we're still working on it, I am using an outdated version, which I prefer better for whatever reason. So just a shout out. So now we're going to go to a folder I set up earlier, which is basically stuff. As you can see, I have my fonts here, stuff, shot sheets, cut in functions, etc. And this is Ozzy's laser function, which is awesome. And right now it's a .txt file. I will be copying that to a DNH file now. Stupid thing won't work. Uh, manually override. Okay. And now I'm going to give a walkthrough um, after I rename this to tutorial A. Okay, there we go. So, just a reminder, my code is pretty ugly. So, here you have the um, header stuff. Um, pre-made background system, which I just copied from my other scripts. All the commented out stuff tends to be either actual comments or stuff that's used in spells. So, like the cut-in stuff here, the name of the stuff, and spell sound effects. There are common data and a lot of variables which you don't use. I have my sound effects here with a sound SFX, which is a function that I made in a function library that I, for um, sound objects. We'll just had had some problems in implementing, but yeah. Um, I have um, some stuff here that sets up the boss, including a magic circle and stuff, which we're not going to get into now. I do have a notify event. Oh, I don't remember which what this one does, but since it's, I'm not running from the stage, it doesn't really do anything. Life, timer. Um, hitboxes. Um, okay. One of the things I do do, that sounded really bad, um, is I don't use the main task that loops around and all that stuff, usually. And instead I just use a main loop and call other things from it. So when a count hits 120, for example, or it's a multiple 120, and if it's not the, the 120th frame because it, start, it count starts at negative 120. And then I'll run a task which is not here because it's just a skeleton. We'll be filling it in later. Um, and yeah, this line is really important. If you do not have something along this lines, along these lines, um, you will have problems with bullets spawning right after the attack from 0, zero which is the top left of the playing field. Yeah, just. Kill all tasks before you spawn bullets or any effects if they are in a while loop or have a weight in them. That will prevent weird delay clouds and stuff. And then have a draw loop, which is pretty generic, and a finalized task. 
And that's all for that. Mm -hmm. So, um, now I guess I'll just show what this actually does using my complicated over in this folder. Yeah, um, basically I'm um, moving to the same directory as the folder and then basically I'm changing the lacal because I don't want garbled stuff and weird symbols floating around the screen. I mean though pitch 3.1 and beyond, basically beyond um, it doesn't have that issue. I am going to use the script. Oh, that one. Maybe I should have changed the name of that. And basically, um, to show what is basically the, the, the background from Artifact 2, which is sort of old now, and the system. I am using the defaults for the stage frame because everything else has like a name of something on it, and I do not have a tutorial stage frame script. Especially since my graphical editor died. Well, it didn't die, just lost compatibility. And I'm just going to shoot it down on the top of it, because why not? And yes, this is my Digital Earth Conquest pause menu, which is there. Okay. And now we're going to do stuff to this. Also, I've noticed that my frame rate is sort of not good in the video. I can't really do anything about that right now because it's otherwise it's going to overheat my computer probably, even though it's brand new. I don't want to risk that though because I need to use this computer. Um, so, firstly, I'm going to change that so I don't I have some idea of what it is. And now, we're going to create a circle. And I'm going to use task A because it's just there. Um, this is basically charging. You're not going to hear the sound effect because the sound effect is disabled. I'm going to copy another one here to prevent any bullets from spawning randomly. And um, uh, I'm going to use 18. Speed, I'll just do two, angle, angle, two, graphic, uh, graphics, 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 some generic graphic, or not so generic graphic, uh, red, 284, 784, and delay, I'll just do 10, because we're going to have to use this later, and angle and convention. Okay. This will create a circle. Um, is bullet defined? Yes, it is. Okay. Um, even though you're not going to hear the sound effect, it's just there. I'm used to it. Uh, this task will basically run every 120 frames, which is every 20 seconds. Let me stop that because that's not reliable. Uh, 30 frames. Okay. Wait, it's going to be charging so much. Um, I'm going to skip block count that out. Okay. Uh, what is trying to blank? Okay. It's two names spelled. Okay, that's better. And of course, it's static because the angle is always starting at zero. Although when tension moves, the bullets do get staggered. Oh shoot, what the hell happened to my controls? Oh, it wasn't focusing. Okay. Um, sorry for my language. It's... What? Okay, um, maybe I should stop that. Okay, so as you can see, that created a basic circle starting from Tenshi's location. And that didn't really involve anything. It just spawning bullets at her position in a rank using a loop and a starting angle, and incrementing that angle by 360 degrees, which is the, um, a circle, and dividing by the number of bullets. And this is a really common technique that basically all script scripters are using and will continue to use. And this is basically 
the foundation for a lot of more interesting and complicated things. Okay, so now time for trigonometry and other stuff. And I'm not going to be changing graphics, although I do need that unit circle, which is located somewhere. This is the Dunlop food? Yes, this is the, not the Dun not Well, it is, yeah, okay. Um, what am I thinking? Uh, so now we're going to basically be using um, trigonometry in order to form a circle away from the boss. Um, this is the standard triangle you'll see everywhere. People don't exactly like it because they have very bad memories of it. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse, over h, and cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. We're not using tangent, and you probably will never use tangent in Danmakfu. Unless it's arc tangent, which is used to calculate angles to a point. And I can close this now because I don't need it. A reminder, in Danmakfu, angles increment this way and not this way. And that's important to remember. Also remember that at zero degrees, sine is zero and cosine is one. Cosine decreases to zero and then to negative one and then to zero, back up, and then back to one. While well, sine goes from zero to one to, no wait, yes, zero to one to zero to negative one and back to zero. Just keep that in mind. Pythagorean theorem is right here. Um, yeah. Basically, the x and y with the l times cosine a and l times sine a, that's basically what we're going to be doing to spawn away from the boss, where l is going to be a radius. So, without further, uh, how do I get that? Oh, that's okay -ish. Okay. So, I'm going to be incrementing by, uh, wait, um, 90. 90 radius. And 90 times sine. There. And, of course, this is going to do stuff. Which may kill me faster, but... Okay. So as you can see, the bullets are now spawning 90 pixels away in a circle from the boss, Tenshi. And this is because of that code. 90 is a radius, of course, and um, the cosine sine stuff basically determines which direction it's, um, the 90 is going to be transformed in. Here. The cosine would do the horizontal stuff because that's one negative one. The sine would do um, vertical stuff. Although you can actually switch the anode function as long as both of them are sine and cosine, not both cosine or both sine. And let's see. Hmm. How to explain this? Okay. Um, firstly, when it said one negative one, that wasn't true. That's because it's, this is x and this is y. It's actually much, much more simple. Okay, so for um, basically understanding how the thing is going to work, I'm, first I'm going to get the screen with her shooting. Okay, and so um, when the angle is zero, cosine is going to be one and sine is going to be zero. So this part, the 90 times sine angle t is going to come zero and this is going to come 90. Therefore, it's going to spawn a get enemy x plus 90 and get enemy y. Get enemy x and y is here, but get enemy x plus 90 is about here. That will spawn this bullet, or that bullet will spawn there because it's right moved a bit. And as the angle increments, it's going to continue building the circle. And because of the Pythagorean theorem and all of that equals one stuff, the radius is going to be constant throughout. So um, that will build the entire circle. And because of the radius stuff, you can actually manipulate this to make ellipses and stuff, which we will sh um, go over in a moment. Also, parametric stuff. If you really want to build fancy stuff and curves and stuff, um, this is a parametric form. And that's basically um, what's, what it's doing. This part is the x direction, this is the y direction for the parametric. A parametric equation basically uses 
t or something else as a, a shared variable between two functions that will not really functions but equations that will build a different kind of shape and with sine and cosine curves you can make all kinds of awesome things with it the circle being super basic and um yeah just keep that in mind the angle is what's changing so okay i don't think i need this anymore because we're doing ellipses now and ellipses are fine okay um, return to title now i'm going to make task b and that way we can have some variety and uh sub y okay sublime i want to make that thing uh, 60 uh, I'll do 120, so that way I can actually show the charge graphic for one of them. Uh, okay, task B, because I'm going to be using task B. Um, and for the t first test, I'm going to extend that one and shrink this one. And for the second one, I'm going to do something completely different. Well, not completely different, but it's not the same. Uh, and I'm going to change the graphics so it's, there's more variety. Okay, that's going to play every 60 frames. It's getting massive charging everywhere, but that's fine. It might be pretty, it might not be pretty. Okay. Um, as you can see, the original red bullets are firing an ellipse. And that's... I basically, I just stretched the X radius. And did they shrink this? I don't even, maybe I did shrink this. I don't even remember now. Um, and shrunk the Y ra radius. It's not really a radius anymore. Um, <laughs> and yeah. So basically, I took the circle and in the X direction, I gave it 30 more pixels to play with. So basically 15 on each side. Well, no, 30 on each side. Oh crud, is it 30? Yeah, it is. Okay, um, and in the Y direction, I just shrunk it. And the other task, just, just reverse. Please don't do this kind of thing because people will accuse you of cheap shotting if it's like, yeah, that, that. So, and just a word of advice, not to spawn things right next to the player unless it's obvious. Okay. Uh, and maybe I can do something fun with this now. Or instead, or instead of doing fun stuff, I can just do something completely different. Um, let's see. Close that, close that, close that. And I'm going to open this. And when it comes to parametrics, ellipses and stuff, there's plenty of stuff I can show. Off, uh, stupid log window, I don't need you. Mm. Um, stage three, boss, mid boss, non spill one on a difficulty I won't die on. Yeah, these are this is basically two parametric equations with um, stuff on it. Generally speaking, if we just have a giant parametric equation, um, okay, I probably can't handle this difficulty right now. Um, if you do have a giant parametric equation, technically speaking, people are not going to like it. Simply because it's just a giant thing and you really need to do something interesting with it. The code for that is um, 3, mid boss, ultimate. Okay, is, yeah, as you can see, this is, looks similar except it's full of stuff. Um, if you look at this code, Basically, um, well, except for the angle t times 3, which is a transformation that allows for that curve thing. I don't know how to describe it. There's a technical name for it that I don't remember, and the times 5. Basically, I, the 120 and the 90 function the same way in stretching the actual parametric. And this is basically how you do all kinds of strange curves. Maybe that's experiment with the angle. Like, if I were to do this, and hopefully not... It's, it's going to do a different pattern. I have no clue what it's going to do. Yeah, it did half. Um, you can do all kinds of stuff. Uh, 21, let's see what that does. 
Yeah, um, you may not want to do this actually, because it causes all kinds of chaos that may or may not be intentional. I this is this thing. Okay, yeah, and yeah, you can do stuff like that. Uh, ellipsis, something that is general speaking. This. Uh, stage three. I did have something with ellipses. I think. And yes, this is self promotion. I have nothing else to do right now, so might as well. Yay, ellipses! Spawning bullets in a random angle. Um, you can do that. It's not always recommended because random angles can wall and cheap shot. Although it's really how you use them that matters. And while I can actually dodge while talking, this is a miracle. Um, what else do I have that has ellipses and fun stuff? Okay, uh, that's fine for now. And yeah, you can do all kinds of stuff with ellipses. So to close this off, there is something you may, may or may not actually want to see. Um, it's somewhere here. Um, I did this a long time ago. And some of you may have used this for 0.12M. I have not updated the site at all for like maybe a year or so, and I don't plan to use it again. Um, this is not particularly great as a source, although I did put some effort into it. Oh wow, there's the YouTube videos oh, or polar equations, oh my god. Um, Ooh, very few scripters use this, and most do cool things by using parametrics, like fondue and bipluf. If it did like once, and I kept on doing for an entire extra stage, um, I shouldn't do this because that's boring. And yeah. So, thanks for watching, and I hope you found this helpful. It's, I really have to apologize for the language because. Um, yeah, I'm not used to this and I really <laughs> have never actually tried to film myself doing this kind of thing. It's not, I'm not filming myself, this is just my voice and a computer screen and no background music, which sucks. Although it does help when there are a bunch of sound effects playing at once. And please do comment if you want me to continue, which I probably might, depending on whether or not Helepolis actually does more things because PH3 really needs to get a boost and I can't run 0.12M anymore and it's outdated and nor people need to do Danmak foo <laughs> and share their work which is nice so as always if you really want to you can subscribe and that's all for today bye and maybe I'll see you again um, there will be some extra stuff in the description probably so check that out too